Hello friends, welcome to the channel Electrical Deck. In this video, we are going to learn about EMF equation of a transformer. Before get into the topic, let us see the working principle of transformer. The basic principle on which the transformer works is Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction or mutual induction between two coils. The transformer consists of two separate windings, primary and secondary, placed over the laminated silicon steel core. When an alternating supply is given to the primary winding, the primary winding setups an alternating flux. This alternating flux pi circulates through core of the transformer and it links with the secondary winding. Now, as the supply given to the primary winding is alternating, it induces an EMF in the secondary winding. This is due to mutual induction between two coils. The induced EMF in the primary and secondary windings depends upon the rate of change of flux linkage between two windings. Let us see the equation for amount of EMF induced in the primary and secondary winding. Before deriving the equation for EMF induced, it is important to learn about waveform of a alternating supply. We know that we use sinusoidal wave for a alternating supply. In a sinusoidal wave it takes 180 degrees to complete one half of the cycle that is represented as pi and it takes 360 degrees to complete one full cycle that is represented as 2 pi here in a sinusoidal waveform by taking flux pi on the y axis the time taken to complete one cycle is equal to 1 by f and time taken to complete half cycle is equal to 1 by 2 f similarly the time taken to complete one fourth of the cycle is equal to 1 by 4 f. The equation for a sinusoidal waveform is given by pi m sin omega t. Now, here we can notice that the time taken to reach maximum value for flux pi m is 1 by 4 f and minus pi m for negative half cycle. Let pi m be the maximum flux in the core. N1 be the number of primary turns. N2 be the number of secondary turns. F is the frequency of the supply. E1 be the RMS value of primary induced EMF. And E2 be the RMS value of secondary induced EMF. Now, from the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. The average EMF induced in each turn is equal to the average rate of change of flux, that is, d pi by dt. Here, d pi is the change in flux, and dt is the time required for change in flux. We know that average induced EMF per turn is equal to the d pi by dt. Now, here, Previously, from the sinusoidal waveform, we have seen that the time taken for reaching the flux from 0 to maximum value is 1 by 4 f. That is, change in flux d pi is from 0 to pi m and time required for change of flux dt is 1 by 4 f. Therefore, the average value of EMF induced per turn is given by 4 f pi m Weber per second or volts. As pi is sinusoidal, the induced EMF in each turn of both the windings is also sinusoidal in nature. For a sinusoidal quantity, we know that form factor is equal to the RMS value by average value, which is equal to the value 1.11. And the RMS value can be written as 1.11 into average value. Here we know the average value of induced EMF. Therefore, the RMF value of induced EMF per turn is given by 
4.44 f pi n. We have derived the equation for RMS value of EMF induced per turn. Let us check out the equation for EMF induced in the primary and secondary windings of a transformer. Consider there are n1 number of turns in the primary winding. For n1 number of turns, the RMS value of EMF induced in the primary winding E1 is equal to n1 into 4.44 f pi m. Similarly, for secondary winding, the RMS value of EMF induced in the secondary winding A2 is equal to N2 into 4.44 F pi M. Here, the expressions of E1 and A2 are called as EMF equations of a transformer. Let us check out the voltage transformation ratio of a transformer. We have derived the equations for EMF E1 and A2 induced in the primary and secondary winding. Now, by taking the ratio of two equations, we get voltage transformation ratio of a transformer. That is, the ratio of secondary induced EMF A2 to the primary induced EMF E1 is equal to ratio of secondary turns N2 to the primary turns N1, which is denoted by K. Therefore, A2 is equal to K E1, where K is equal to N2 by N1. Now, from the voltage transformation ratio of transformer, we can say that if secondary turns N2 is greater than the primary turns N1, that is k value is greater than 1. Then we get A2 greater than E1. At this condition, we can say that the transformer works as a step-up transformer. Similarly, if secondary turns N2 is lesser than the primary turns N1, that is k value will be lesser than 1. Then we get A2 lesser than E1. At this condition, we can say that the transformer works as a step-down transformer. And, if both secondary turns and primary turns are equal, we get A2 is equal to E1. Then, the transformer is called as isolation transformer. Thank you for watching. See you soon again. And, don't forget to subscribe us for more electrical stuff.